This is the Electro Harmonics Nano Small Stone Phaser Pedal. It's a straightforward phaser with two controls, color and rate. It's built from the same components as the bigger US reissue model, it's just in a smaller die cast casing which takes up less space on the pedal board. Now some may debate that since they moved the input jacks from the top of the pedal to the sides, but either way it's more compact and definitely smaller. Another change that makes this pedal different from the big guy is the AC adapter jack. It now uses the same type of adapter as Boss pedals, which is a negative tip positive sleeve jack. And one other thing they approved upon was the volume drop issue. With the bigger models, a lot of people seem to hear a volume drop when the pedal is engaged. With this guy, there doesn't seem to be any signal loss. Um, now, for those of you who don't know what a phaser actually does, it splits your signal into two paths that sweep across the frequency spectrum. Those two paths are then adjustable through color, which is basically the intensity of the sweep, and rate, which is the speed of the sweep. So let's hear what the phaser sounds like and how you can shape the sound. Here's what the guitar sounds like with no phaser on. It's a pretty straight head, clean tone. I've got the color switch down on the phaser and the rate at about 11 o'clock. Produces a nice, evenly distributed, subtle phase. Let's hear what it sounds like. So as you can hear, there's some nice little phase going on. It's not too predominant in the mix. Turn this guy up to about 2 o'clock. Starts to become a little more noticeable, yet it's still not overpowering just yet. It's a pretty nice phase going on there. With the color switch down, once you get the rate knob to about 4 o'clock, it starts to max out. We're just below 4 right now. Let's hear what it sounds like. You're going to hear obviously more rate going on, so it's going to be more of a warble effect. That sounds pretty nice still. Once you max out the rate with the color switch down, the effect pretty much disappears. You don't hear it as much. So you can kind of get that same result when you put the rate all the way down. You don't necessarily hear the effect. The sweep is so slow that it's not really in the mix. So let's turn the color switch up. This means you're going to have more of an intense sweep across the, the frequency spectrum. With the rate all the way down, you get an extremely slow sweep. It's a pretty nice sweep. If you move the rate knob back to about 11 o'clock, which is where I like the rate on both color settings, you get a nice phase going on. Don't know if you can hear it now, but it's kind of oscillating on its own. That sounds pretty good. Let's move the rate to about 2 o'clock. You can hear it oscillating still on its own. Now it's just got a more bite. Now with the color switch up, you can max out the rate and you still hear a lot of the effect. And now it's a really psychedelic watery texture that comes out of it.
Another cool thing you can do when you have the rate maxed out and the color switch all the way up is kick on just a little bit of delay and if you have a volume pedal you can uh, kind of take out the attack and you get these really nice textures produced. And that's the Nano Smallstone.